In my previous video on how to create UI alert controller, I've mentioned that I'll show you how to create an action sheet, and at the end of the video I forgot. So in this video I will actually show you how to create uh, an action sheet. Uh, okay, my Xcode is up and running. Uh, this is going to be an iOS application, a uh, single view application, and uh, next. The product name will be my action sheet example language Swift iPhone next choose a folder where I want to store this um, project and my uh, project is created okay I'll go straight to uh, main storyboard my um, only view controller is selected I don't need my navigator area so I will hide it uh, and uh, in the attributes inspector I will adjust the size of my view controller to an iPhone 4 inch this is looking better okay from the object library I will use a button to trigger my action sheet give it a little name and change the label of this button to show action shit okay now we have a button to start writing code I need to open an assistant editor okay I open an assistant editor and I don't need my um, utilities panel so I'll hide it um, I'll hold control button click on the button and drag the blue connector uh, line onto my view controller and release it okay the connection type here should be action I'll give it a name show action Sheet. so this name could be any um, any you you like my will be show action sheet uh, button tapped this is the way I like it uh, connect okay so the IB action is created and I can start writing my code okay and um, action sheet is actually created using UI alert controller so I need to create uh, an instance of UI alert control first Um, variable mm, my action sheet equals UI alert controller uh, we will give it a title and this title will be log in message will be how do you want to log in and preference style is very important here a UI alert control controller style UI alert controller style so this controller style should be an action sheet in my previous video I used alert is a message that pops up in the middle of the screen and in this example we need to use action sheet which is an action panel that slides from the bottom towards the middle uh, of the screen so action sheet okay we have uh, an action sheet created I think I have an extra bracket yes and um, action sheet can have uh, many buttons we will uh, create at least uh, let's say at least three so uh, first button will be um, um, Facebook login for example and it's an action it's actually an action button so we will use UI alert action and each action button will be 
will have a title which is um, a stream Facebook UI alert action style is um, let's choose first one default and we will actually design we'll close it here and we will define handler of this button right away okay handler is um, what is a piece of code that will uh, trigger and run when user taps on uh, a button so I will uh, I don't have any business logic for this um, example I will simply output a line to console um, Facebook Facebook button tapped okay so when user taps on uh, Facebook it will uh, run I don't understand oh, oh yeah I need to I actually need to this declare an action in I guess okay and this is the body of my action okay so we have one button and here you can put any code you like this it, it's a business logic that will run when um, user taps on the button so we have one button and now we need to add this action to an action sheet action Facebook login action okay and finally we need to present our view controller to user self present view controller my action sheet animated uh, yes we want it to be animated so for Swift is true and we don't really need any code to run upon completion so I'll set it to nil okay now it should work but we have only one action let's create another action and this is going to be um, Google plus login button action Google plus and it's also be default and when user taps on this button we will uh, output Google plus button tapped okay we will create one more which is going to be Twitter Twitter login button uh, action alert action title login with Twitter and this one is also going to be default user types Twitter button tapped and last one we will create last one which is cancel um, cancel cancel and the style of this action um, will actually be not default but cancel and we'll say cancel button tapped okay now we need to add all these actions that we have just created to our action sheet so our first is Facebook second is um, Google plus third is Twitter and the last one is cancel okay so Facebook Google Plus Twitter and cancel Facebook Google Plus Twitter and cancel and then we present our action sheet uh, to a user I think we have completed our code let's run it I click on uh, run button okay our um, splash screen 
and we have the only button that we have created visible. I tap on this button and we have our actions action sheet uh, working. So it has um, a title which is login. Uh, how do you want to log in? A message. Let me add question mark so it's looking better. Login. How do you want to log in? And then um, three buttons that we have created Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter and the fourth one is cancel. Let me tap on um, Facebook button to see if it actually outputs the message. Yes, this is our uh, output and it printed out a correct message. If I tap on um, Google Plus, it says Google Plus button tapped. If I cancel it, it says cancel button tapped. Very good, so um, action sheet is working. I hope this video uh, was uh, helpful for you guys. If it was, uh, once again, please uh, tap on the uh, like button or subscribe to my channel um, because I hope videos are helpful and it will give me motivation to create uh, more videos for you. Thank you very much and have a good day.